in this video i am going to explain you the deterministic trend and uh, like uh, i explained in the last video also this is a continuation of many tutorials which are kept on this particular channel so some of the things i'll be moving fast so i'm going to explain you what is deterministic trend model what is the meaning of trend stationary process or what is detrending and what is over differentiating so let's take a look one by one the equation of deterministic trend is given by yt d1 plus b2t and ut so what you need to understand yt is not linked with its previous value yt has no relationship with yt minus 1 yt is very much you know is more given by b2 2 into t that's the t term and you know there is an error term so error is for like you know having normal distribution you know with mean 0 and whatever variance what you need to understand if you put y1 it will become b1 plus b2 plus error term if you go to y2 it will become b1 plus 2 into beta 2 plus error term so essentially like when you are talking of yn you know or yt there are t beta terms right but only one error term and that's what makes it little different than you know stochastic trend if you take a look the expected value obviously will be beta 1 plus t into beta 2 but the variance because there is only one error term will always be sigma square so in this case you know actually the mean is varying but the variance and covariance is not a problem i'll just show you in the excel also please understand the formula very much the same way i have generated these normal numbers and then you know here the deterministic trend you know these are slightly different than what you are looking at random walk with uh, drift because if you take a look here you know it is the fixed value plus error term plus you know drift parameter or you know very much like the beta you know into this one so essentially first time you will multiply by one for second time frame you know multiply by 2 into this so if you take a look here again you know c2 c2 is the starting value plus normal distribution uh, error point plus drift into this particular value so i have put 1 2 3 4 so that you know like uh, it's continuation so it's very similar to what you are seeing here beta 1 plus beta 2 into 2 plus error term so here A starting value is the beta one, you know, and then you know, c four. You know, take a look, c four into c three. That is very much like the beta three term and plus the error term, and that's what you are seeing. What you need to understand, you know, again you generate ninety nine numbers, calculate the sum, and then take the average, and then to take the mean, and then the covariance. The covariance is coming, you know. between f and b series so essentially the series separate to the four legs the average you know is pretty much like not inconsistent but non stationary but you know variance and covariance is not a problem at all so if you are given a this kind of series you know what you how will you make it you know um, how will you make it stationary take a look at the graph you know there are six graphs if you remember in random walk with drift these were varying a lot but in case of deterministic you know it, these are not so volatile these are just varying around a mean you know because there is only one error term here so how do you make it you know you do it by detrending so what is the meaning of detrending you know the for first time you know the the mean take a look at the mean the mean will be given by you know this starting value plus b4 and b4 is very much what you are seeing here you know so essentially you know what will the mean value here mean value will be you know very much like if you take just the starting value plus you know 1 into drift right so starting value is 1 and 1 into 0.5 which will make it 0.5 so start the mean will be 1.5 what will be mean here the mean will be 1 the starting value plus 3 into 1.5 which so 1 plus 3 into 0.5 3 into 0.5 makes it 1.5 plus 1 2.5 
and that is what is the mean that is kept here right by this equation you can take a look at the equation very well that what I am doing ideally you should do all these things in excel and just you know uh, along with me and then uh, see these things happening on the on your own so now I have removed the trend thing the trend thing is essentially like you know if I go to this ppt beta 1 plus beta 2 into t terms is the trend term right so the moment you remove that particular term you know very much like you know, take a look this is the mean term right and from each value with the moment you remove the train term the beta 1 plus beta 2 this is the beta 1 plus beta 2 into the delta t so the moment you remove from each equation uh, beta 1 uh, uh, u minus beta 1 minus beta 2 into t you know this and take a look at how what is happening to the series you know the series the average the variance and the covariance everything shows the properties of stationarity so the point that i'm trying to make you know a deterministic trend you know can be converted into stationary the moment you remove the trend so you remove beta 1 plus t star beta 2 which is the mean we calculated the top row it becomes very much like the normally distributed uh, error terms which follows which has all the properties of stationary so detrending stands for removal of trend from the equation and think of you know when you can remove uh, you can make series just uh, by removing the trend if you may if you try to do yt minus yt minus 1 you know try to differentiate it when there is absolutely no need to differentiate you can simply straight forward can remove the train and can make it stationary that phenomena is called over differentiating so over differentiating is like when you are trying to differentiate a series where you don't need to do you just remove for example in this case you remove the trained equation and it becomes stationary if you try to differentiate on those scenarios where differentiation is not applicable this is called over differentiating. Thank you.